Hello and welcome to part 6 of CAMH REGCAP survey training. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a bonus video, uh, partly just because I had some extra time today, but also because we've never really talked about this feature ever before. Uh, and the reason for that is because this feature came out in REGCAP version 9, uh, which we got at CAMH in the summer of 2019. And the feature I'm referring to is alerts and notifications. Now, before we get into it, I just want to review what we did in our previous video because we had set up a little survey or automatic survey invitation queue here where the participant would enter in their physician's email address as they're completing their uh, PHQ-9 here. And that would allow us to send this little physician report, which basically just contained the total score from the PHQ-9. Uh, and we accomplished that using automated survey invitations. And that is all well and good. Uh, it works well for this case. But sometimes we, may, we might want to do something that's even more complicated. Um, and that's what we're going to do with alerts and notifications here. So for the time being, I just uh, disabled this automated invitation here, uh, just so it doesn't interfere with what we're trying to do. Um, so let's take a look at alerts and notifications. And we should really just take a moment here to appreciate how cool RADCAP is, because the alerts and notifications module is something that was originally developed as a third-party plugin, but everybody liked it so much that the RedCap developers just decided to uh, bake it into RedCap for everybody. So that is just fantastic. Uh, okay, so to get started here, uh, the first thing we want to do is click the Add New Alert button. And if you look closely, you'll see that the setup here is actually pretty similar to what we do with automated survey invitations. So we'll just take a look through each of these steps here. So first of all, we need to give this a title, and we can just call this Physician uh, Report, maybe even PHQ-9. And then we have a few options here. So we can either send this alert anytime a specific form is saved, um, but I want to do something a bit more complex and send this alert when a form is saved, but also with conditional logic. So in this case, I want to send the PHQ-9, uh, or send the alert whenever the PHQ-9 is complete uh, it with any form status doesn't really matter. Uh, we could say complete stata status here, but I'll say with any status. And I only want to send this notification if the total score is greater than 9. Uh, so let's see, PHQ 9 total. OK, here we go. Greater than 9. And again, we have this little uh, pop up here. We want to work in some stop logic. And then we also have this checkbox for ensuring the logic is still true before sending the notification. So these two things are pretty much identical to what we saw in our automated survey imitation. OK, so the next step is, uh, again, pretty similar to how we would set up our automated survey imitation. So we have the option to um, send this alert at various different time points, so either immediately or after the next you know, couple of days. Uh, for some reason, this uh, drop down isn't working. That's uh, weird. Um, but basically, we can send it immediately uh, after a time lapse of X number of days or at a certain date time. I'm just going to send it immediately. And then we have the option here to send it just once or uh, every time the form is saved, or we could say every one day, for example. Uh, you just want to be careful with this because unlike the reminders that we have with uh, automated survey invitations, this one can kind of just go on indefinitely. Uh, so you want to be really careful if you do decide to use this third option. But for me, I'm just going to go with just once, just to keep it simple. And then the real kind of magic here comes in with step three, because uh, our message settings here give us a lot of power on where we're going to send this notification. So we can either choose uh, an option from this list here. So really, we can choose any of the uh, project users. So this would be basically the similar idea to the survey notification that we looked at in a previous video or we can select any field that's listed as an email field in the project. So these are both two email fields that we set up previously. If neither of those uh, suit our purpose, we can actually just enter in whatever email we want here, uh, which is great. So, because we don't need to then worry about having to collect an email somewhere else, we can just put it right in here. And then we can just write our email as no normal. So I might say Q9, maybe, I don't know, alert maybe. And uh, what I can do here is um, instead of giving a link, so I actually can give a link using a smart variable. So I would say something like survey, if I know how to spell, survey link. And then I'll just put in the name of that form. And if you recall, I believe it was physician report. 
So that would give a link to uh, the report that the physician can click to see the um, score. So this would be pretty similar to what we would get with our automated survey invitation. But what we can also do is just pipe the score right in here. So we can say PHQ9 underscore total score. In this way, the physician doesn't even need to go into RedCap. They'll just get the score delivered right to their email. Um, so we can go and we can craft a very interesting and clever email here. But for demonstration purposes, I'll just stick with this. And then if we wanted, we could also put an expiration on this alert. So if for whatever reason we wanted to make sure that it doesn't go out anymore, we could put a date in here. But I'm not going to do that right now. So I'll just say save. And uh, what we've got here is now just uh, an entry for this alert. Now, what we could actually do here and why alerts notifications become so powerful is because we can now just copy this alert. And let's say we wanted to send the score to a different physician if it was less than nine. So now, uh, maybe I'll change the name to less than nine. We can just change the logic here and go down and change the email address which I only have one email address, so I'll just put my own in again here. And do the same thing. So now we've got two alerts that, I mean, if, if I had more friends, uh, we'd be able to send uh, different alerts to different people based on conditional responses here. So you can see how powerful this can actually become uh, if you start creating some really sort of complex logic for your notifications. And so to just show you how this works, uh, I'll go in to the record status dashboard here and I'll just open up uh, one of these PHQ9s that uh, haven't been filled out yet. Um, and I don't need to put something in here because uh, this was used for our automated survey invitation. Um, actually, I also need to open this as a survey. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave all of this blank and I'll go down to the total score here and I'll put in a score of 11. Uh, I'm gonna get a pop up here that says I need to put in the physician email address, but I don't. And if we just wait a second or two, we should see a little notification here. All right, well, while we're waiting for that, we can actually go into uh, RedCap here and go to the alerts and notifications and check the notification log to see if it was sent out. And sure enough, there it is, just as I checked. Uh, so you'll see this looks very similar to our survey uh, survey invitation log. In this case, they've just called it the notification log. Um, but the it's the exact same thing. I think I caught it here before it actually got sent out. So if we were to refresh, yeah, it'll disappear and go to past notifications. Um, so yeah, you can see what time it was sent out, the alert number that was sent. So in this case, no case number one, the record that it was part of and who it went to. So you've got a full log here of all the notifications that are sent out. Um, and actually, if I go and check what that looks like. So we've got our physician report link that would take us right into the form here, but we don't even need to do that because we have our total score right here. So yeah, that's really all there is to the alerts and notifications. Um, it's one of these things, it's not super complicated, especially if you're familiar with how these sorts of uh, survey invitations work already. But like I said, it does uh, provide some extra really handy functionality. All right, so I guess that does it for this video. Um, I suppose that will be the last of our survey videos. So uh, we'll sign off there and all the best with your RedCap data collection.